Hello guys and welcome to another video and it's been a bit of a slow um, trading week for me last week. I didn't take any trades last week and I'm just waiting for my setup to play out this week to take a trade. So I didn't want to leave, I didn't want to not put a video up about anything but I'm getting a lot of people messaging me about you know the strategy that I use and information on how you um, do the imbalance candles. So I'm just going to show you um, right now how I do my strategy. So I'm just gonna find where my strategy is played out so I can show you. I did actually just have it ready, but it's gone back. If I can find it. So here we go. Uh, well, actually, this is not the one I was looking at, but we can do this one here. So the first thing that I look for when um, I'm looking for my strategy is a breaker structure. So that's the that's the key to the strategy is you always want to wait for a breaker structure. So you want to wait for the previous um, high low or low low it needs to be broken. It needs to be a clear breaker structure. So if we look here, we can see high 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 low high 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 low. So it was a bit of an uptrend uptrend here, and then we can pinpoint um, this area here as the previous higher low so that's the previous high low there just put that as a break structure because price broke because bright because because price broke this previous high low that's a break structure to the downside break a structure or change of character because we was moving up um, I could a bigger structure is just the continuation of the trend moving up and a change of characters when price goes from up to down or down to up but it's the same thing so we just keep it as a breaker structure here so that's the first thing i look for is a breaker structure so our previous high low here was broke and what needs to happen after that is the break what caused that breaker structure there needs to be imbalanced candles after that breaker structure so we can see clearly here that there was this push right down here, broke this level here with imbalance candles. Okay, so it left imbalance candles and the imbalance candles started from this candle here. So what I do is, so as you can see up here, there's imbalance here as well, but I wouldn't factor these ones in because it's above the breaker structure. You only want to put in imbalance. You only want to put your imbalance fib from. So this area is the push that made the breaker structure. So it's only on the candles that made the push. So so our imbalance starts here, and at the time, it's obviously if this move's already happened, so it's already filled in. But at the time, you would have gone from here all the way down to the imbalance right down here. So this is where that imbalance would have finished. So put that across like that. Now my strategy is that I, so I wait for this push down here, then I wait for three touches of the 0 0.61 level. So there was three touches here. And if I do wait, so in the situation where I would wait for two and then enter on the third would be exactly what's happened here. So you've got the first touch, then you had the third touch, but then it left more imbalance again. So, and this in this order block here. So there's an, a little order block right here. So this, once I, saw, once I saw this order block, I would then have set my um, pending order to, I would have set my pending order on, 60, on the 60, 0 0.61 level. But if I got one touch, then two touch, and no order block was left, then I would have waited for a third touch, then entered. So that is the two scenarios of what I would enter. Two touches and an order block's left, then that's telling me to get in on the third touch. Um, and then two touches, but no order block left, then I would have waited for the third touch and then entered on the fourth touch. <clears throat> so that is... This is very simple. That's all we're waiting for is 
a breaker structure, imbalance, there needs to be a, on the push of the impulse move, there needs to be imbalance, an imbalance fib, to imbalance fib from candle to candle, and your breaker structure needs to be, um, there needs to be a push down and the candle needs to close beneath this level. So that's how you identify a break, proper breaker structure as well. So here's the previous, that's the previous low. You wouldn't count these wicks, count, you go from the, the candle closure. So if this, so you see this here, this, it wicked down and come back up. You wouldn't class that as a breaker structure. You'd class this bit as a breaker structure because the candles come down and then close beneath it. So that's the first stage. Then, let's get rid of this. So that's step one, breaker structure of your previous high low. Then you want imbalance that's pushed through the breaker structure. If there's no imbalance there, then it's, it's not valid. That's it, it needs to have the gaps in between, the wicks shouldn't meet. That's that's what your imbalance is. If you don't know, what, if you haven't if you haven't watched the imbalance lesson, then please watch the imbalance lesson on the SMT course. And then how I add my imbalance fib is I go from the candle. So you can see you can see my line is right above where the candle um, opened, and you go down all the way to which is imbalance. So at the time, I know this move's already happened, but I would have been going to the bottom here. And then there. Then I'd wait for one, two. If we get two touches with an order block, I'll be entering on the third. But if there's no order block um, left at this level, then I'll be waiting for a third touch and then entering. Um, and then you can gauge where you would put your stop loss from the other two touches. So the third touch, I would have. So imbalance. So price. price could push up to fill in this imbalance up here because um, because it could fill in the imbalance before moving down. But I like I like to keep a 20 pip stop loss on on um, GU. So I would have done that. And my I always do my trades to a one to three. It did push down way further and you could target other areas, but I, that, I, that probably would have been the area I was targeting anyway. So I would have got a one to three out of that, just like that. So hope that um, makes sense. And I hope that you understand the strategy a bit more. This is literally all that I'm looking for. You need to make it simple and easy for yourself. I do this on the 15 minute as well. I also do use the one hour because sometimes it's easier to see the imbalance on the one hour if it's not that visible on the 15 minute. So I do one strategy, one pair, one session, I always try, this is usually just the, the London session, um, one time frame, so the 15 minute, and that's that's all I do. And I just, um, each trade I make, I um, journal and make sure what happened. If anyone's struggling to journal trades, you should all journal your trades. And I use a website called Edgewonk. So this is Edgewonk. I've only just started using it um, not too long ago. But um, it's really, really good for keeping up to date with your journaling. If you don't want to use an Excel sheet, I know it's quite, it's quite, it's a quite long process putting everything into an Excel sheet. But you can use this. Um, if I just go to a trade here, so it has everything you need on there. You've got your entry date, your instrument, what setup you're using. Mine's a 15 minute strategy, the imbalance strategy that I just showed you. You know, it's got the um, price you entered. It's got everything on there, and then. I've got like, you can set um, custom comments for your trade. So my entry comments are waited for three touches on the fib. If I get that, if I, I did wait, it, make, it keeps me on top of what I meant to do with my trading. So I waited for three touches on the fib. Yeah, that's right. Um, exit comments, I have let price hit TP or didn't let the price hit TP. Trade management, I always take 2K out when it hits 3K and move to stop loss. Move stop loss to break even, that's what I always do. And then I also have a before and after vote as well so this is really really good and helpful to journal trades which you should all be doing so yeah so that's it for the video guys i hope that's helped I hope it's helped you understand um, my strategy and um, make sure you like and subscribe and if you have any questions please leave them in the discord and i'll be able to help you out okay guys cheers